Hey guys, it's Jeff from Home Run Vision here with my son Matt. Today we are going to be installing some fence posts. Yeah, I know, real tricky, right? We're using this new product. I've never used it before, so I thought, you know, this might be fun. We'll make a quick video here while we're building our horizontal fence, and I'll show you what I think about this product. And uh, if it lives up to all the hype, it says uh, one of these bags should set one or two of these posts in our condition, and it sets up in like three minutes. Let's get this done. Um, Matt, first, can we get a level on each side? I'm gonna you want to go to the right side, I'll go to this side. Or yeah, easier? sure, why not? All right, let's see what we got. All right. And here's another use for electrical tape. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If I just strap it to the post, then as you're holding on to the levels, you can manipulate the pole real easy. Okay? Yep. All right. Okay, so I read the instructions. I'm pretty confident what I'm doing, and I'm not using the safety gear. Um, feel free to use the safety gear if you want to. And it says to just roll it. It's a two-part mix. And after you break the seal in the middle, you got 20 seconds to mix it up, cut a corner, pour it in, and then stand back. So here we go. Mm, oh, yeah, see that? That actually doesn't take a lot of pressure. Anybody could do this. Okay, so we're going to give it a little mix. Mm-hmm. That sounds like about 20 seconds to me. And that should be holding it level at this point, right? Yes, yeah, sure. All right. Let's see if that works. That didn't look like it came out like it's supposed to, but... Maybe you should have read the instructions. <laughs> I did read the instructions. I know you did, I know. It said, roll in that direction. Yeah, break it. Mix it for 20 seconds. Pour it out. The foam didn't expand. Oh. Yeah, that's my bad. We'll try that again. So. You gotta shake it back and forth in, uh, the, in the bag? Cause... Ow! Stone is not comfortable. Um, there's more material here than here. This is like, the arrows tell you which way to roll. And I did that properly. What I didn't do right, Matt, is I never forced all this material to come in here and mix. Ah. So there wasn't enough of the mixing agent. And it's foaming now. You see it growing? Yeah. Shut up. Look at that. Maybe I uh, won't do this. I think it just took longer for the reaction to happen. All right, let's just give it a minute. Yeah, it's okay. still growing, too, so... I it is growing. Just... So it is finally reacting. I just... Okay. So how long would I have to stand here keeping it... Three rubbing? minutes. Yes, the chemical reaction is happening. It's growing. Now the only question is, <laughs> did I need a whole bag? Or is this just gonna be like one of these volcano science experiments from grade eight? It's expansion foam, so it's growing pretty good now. This is kind of fun to watch. I think we struck a Pepsi Reserve pocket. I, yeah, it's, it's, looks, it's odd. I feel like um, we're in a bit of trouble here. Has it got any ability to stand on its own power yet? Or is that foam not solid no, enough? No, I wouldn't even try. If, it, if it, it looks like foam on the top of a Pepsi well, can. Well, this is a real-time challenge here. I mean, yeah, you just keep it level and we'll see what happens. And when it's all done, we'll just cut away the extra foam that we don't need. But One thing to note is when you're pouring it in, make sure you're not pouring it from, from really high up. You're going to stain your wood and then you have to sand it all off after. So it's really growing. So I drilled a three-foot hole with a six-inch auger bit. And I'm using a 4x4 four four post. And according to the instructions, it should only take between half and one bag. And it might be a better idea if you uh, have your post anchored with another piece of wood. So, But we're just trying to see if this, if you can cheat, if this works. I don't have one of those post levels. You see those? No. Little plastic yellow thing that has a strap on it. What does it level itself to? Well, it attaches to the post and it has a level on both sides like we're doing. Oh, okay. This is kind of like a homemade DIY post level. Gotcha. Well, I mean, yeah. but I like it better because it, the longer the level, the more accurate the reading. Yep. Okay. Uh, three minutes apparently. Should I spin it to like? No, mix the... no, 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 no. Don't, don't do anything. It's setting up pretty good. If you let go, is it going to stay still? Probably not. Let's find out. That oh, looks pretty good. All right, let's leave it alone then. No, 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 no. Don't touch it! I'm just poking at it. You'll get a, you won't be allowed in the house for like a week. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Wow, you can really fine tune that, eh? 
That's pretty incredible. Yeah, it's still growing. Yeah. Like, okay, well, three minutes has gone by. Post is holding itself up, okay. It uh, doesn't feel incre incredibly solid, though, does it? Like, No, it's definitely, you can move it. Yeah, so I'm, I'm curious to know how, how much more embedded it feels after a couple of hours. Anyway, well, well, we're done with this. It's supposed to dry up into something like concrete, isn't it? Yeah, well, should be able to hold a fence up in the wind, so. Yeah. We'll have to wait and see. All right, well, I'll tell you what, we're gonna come back later on this afternoon and uh, give it the old shake test and see how well it's anchored in the ground. It uh, shouldn't have any much problem because it's mostly GA compacted here, so you'd think it'd be a, a good base for a post. Should be. All right, bud, fingers crossed. If this works, that's great because it's better than the alternatives. Ugh. Right? It's a yeah. lot faster than working with cement, a lot cleaner. Costs a few more bucks, but we got enough work to do around here. I don't mind uh, spending a few more bucks getting something done fast and easy. Right? This is awesome. Well, we just got our lawn seeded. And we're watering. The, if you want to check out how to seed your yard, you can click the link up here. But this is awesome. Wow. Okay, so it's been about a half an hour, right? About 30 minutes. Now this is really set. If it gets any more dense, I would be really surprised. I think the secret for me now is um, probably add some water tomorrow, help compact whatever's laying around. But that foam should expand and fill up every nook and cranny in the ground. Wow. Maddie, this works. Oh, you got this cancer stick in your face, do you? Well, that's gonna, that's gonna hold. Sweet, all right. I was a little skeptical, to be honest with you. The package had uh, homes approved on it. I'm always hesitant to take the word of a TV star. Lord knows they never get paid for their opinion. <laughs> All right, well listen, there you go. Now we know that this is gonna work. You can try it at home too. I'm pretty confident. I like that. Um, I don't it, know I'm here. It's not as comfortable. It's not as solid as a bed of concrete the next day, but like I said, it's only been 30 minutes. Well, I'm really happy with the product. That's good, because this will make it quick and simple for me. Now listen, if you're watching a video about how to put a post in the ground, you're probably interested in a lot of these videos right here deck and fence videos that we've done over the last few years. It's a playlist of all kinds of different projects. Maybe some information in there can be there to help you out. We'll see you in the next video soon.